Good morning, my beautiful subscribers. This is Anastasia with Anastasia's Tarot. We're going to go ahead and do our January read for Sagittarius. It is Thursday here in Buffalo, and it looks like the sun wants to come out. It was out a little while ago, um, so hopefully it will show up. It's been dark and dreary and yucky, like, all week. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for all notifications. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Um, for all notifications, I am working on trying to get 50 subscribers by the end of January. So please share this video. Um, once I hit 50 subscribers, I will be able to go live. Um, I am hoping to have that at least by the end of March so that I do have the ability to go live on this channel um, during my mentor Archer's Astrology's um, meet and greet. It's his first one here in Buffalo, New York at Flickr Gifts and Inspirations. Um, it's on Buffalo Street in Hamburg, New York. Um, he's going to be here the weekend of April 1st and 2nd. He will be doing live readings and private readings. He will also be going live on his channel a lot that weekend. Um, and if I have the ability to go live, we're going to try and go live on both their channels to do angel numbers. So please help me get hit that 50 subscriber mark by the, at least the end of March. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the Celtic Cross for my, my Sagittarius subscribers. Um, I've already started shuffling this deck. I am going to go ahead and finish with you, um, in front of me. And, um, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to go ahead and do the Celtic Cross today. So, Spirit, what... Would you like my Sagittarius subscribers to know for the month of January? Spirit, please tell my Sagittarius subscribers what they need to know for the month of January. January. I don't know. I need more coffee, I think. One more shovel. And let's go ahead and deal out the Celtic cross. Okay, so your overall energy is judgment. This is karma. Um, this is the judge card. So something is being judged, um, either good karma, bad karma. It all depends on how you've been to other people. Um, so something is being judged in the month of January, um, in the traditional Rider Waite deck. It has a judge, um, holding the scales of justice and it is balanced so just remember to keep balance in the month of january um stay in that two of pentacles mode where every you're just keeping everything even keel so what again i am just learning the celtic cross therefore that's why we're doing this um, in February, I am going to go ahead and switch to a different spread. I'm going to go ahead and do past, present, and future with clarifiers. So, um, so I'm just learning this. So please bear with me. So you in the situation in question is the Knight of Pentacles. This is young, um, youthful energy. There is money coming in in the month of January, or you're going to start seeing signs of money. If I can get the card off the desk, you're going to go ahead and start seeing signs of money coming in, um, home, family, um, friendships, things that are like really important to you. And so keep your eye out for that. And then what crosses you or compliments you is is justice. So 
or I apologize, I misjudged justice and, and judgment. So justice is the judge guard. I'm sorry. Um, so everything you can see that she's holding the scales of justice, everything is kept um, balanced. Um, so like I said, stay in your two of pentacles mode um, this month. Keep everything even keel balanced. And I kind of find it funny that you got judgment and judge justice in this reading. So something definitely you need to, something is being judged this month. Um, your, uh, either your family, your home, your job, something is being judged in the month of January. So maybe you're doing judgment on how you want to continue with your financial stability. Um, and you're just trying to keep the balance between the bills and your, your wants and your needs. Then the best thing that can be achieved in the circumstances is the Five of Cups. Your re regret, remorse, um, you're in a re regret, remorse, um, energy. You see that she's stand sitting here on the beach or kneeling on the beach and she's got three cups that are spilt on the beach. But if she looks behind her, she has two cups on the table. So she just needs to look around and see that she does still have two cups of whatever that are filled and she needs to go for that. Um, just kind of let go of the regret, the remorse, and just keep going. Look behind you. And then the foundation, the reading, the reason for this reading is the Ace of Swords. This is incoming communication um, from someone or something. Maybe it is that, um, maybe it is incoming communication from that Knight of Pentacles that they want to go ahead and start communicating with you and helping you make that um, that judgment, that balance, that, um, justice call to, to continue your journey that spirit wants you to go on. Then the past is the seven of pentacles. You were being patient. Um, you're, you're waiting for things to come in. You're, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Um, you're waiting for that pentacle energy, that money. And you're, so you're just keeping things even keel, balanced for the month of January until that until that money starts coming in with that Knight of Pentacles. Take heart, it is coming. It's just um it is just gonna take some time. The near future is strength. In the near future, you are going to have strength. You're going to have patience, um, which is that temperance card, which ha is haunting me right now with patience. Um, just have the strength to continue. Um, this is Major Arcana for Leo. So maybe you're going to deal with a Leo or you have a Leo in your life at the present that you need to find strength um, to just keep dealing with that. You've got it. You can do it. You Spirit will help you do anything that you want to do and that it wants you to do. Then you are showing up in your reading as the Ace of Pentacles. I have to, like, this is like, you have, like, where is it? Two Knights and two Aces in your reading. So something is coming. Something is going to happen um, with communication and the money. Um, and so just take heart, keep strong and keep balanced and you will have everything that you want in, um, that you want going. And then your environment or external influences that are affecting you is the six of wands. This is victory. This is success. You're coming in to celebrate. 
Um, so there is celebration coming. Um, or you have celebration around you. Um, so this will help you keep strong. Know that there's people out there to help you. That they are there to help you. To, um, to keep you going. Keep you strong. Um, don't listen to those naysayers. Don't let negative energy into your environment. Because you've got this. And then your hopes or fears is the Eight of Swords. I would consider this a fear. Stay out of your head. This is this, the Houdini card. Um, you put yourself in a self-imposed prison. If she takes that blindfold off, she would see that her, her bindings on her hands are very loose. She can just slip her hands out of there and start pulling those swords out and get herself out of that prison. So get yourself out of your head. Have that strength to come out of your thoughts and to um, to get going towards your, your Knight of Pentacles. And then lastly, the outcome is Queen of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. So you've got a lot of Earth energy in your reading today. Um, so I would definitely say that it is about money. Um, so once you get out of your head, and you stay balanced, you stay stay strong, you're going to come into your Queen of Pentacles. This is your Queen of Pentacles energy. This is um, male or female. Tarot is not gender specific. So this is just feminine energy. So feminine or money energy. Um, I'm definitely leaning towards that there is the beginnings of new money coming into your life. Um, there is people that are going to start coming into your life to help you maintain, to, to get that money. So definitely stay balanced, stay out of your head, and you will have your dreams and successes come to you. Um, so again, if you like, if you like this or it resonates, please sub to hit subscribe hit the bell for all notifications so you'll be notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Also, please um, share this video, like it, help to get my video out into the YouTube universe um, a little more because that's what happens when you hit like. And like is very, very important to all of us on YouTube. Um... And also hop in your chariot and come on over to Archer's Astrology. Um, he is live every Sunday night with his All Signs reading from the beautiful city of Detroit. Um, he is a Cancer. He is full of love, fun. Um, and he has his first meet and greet set up for April 1st and 2nd here in Buffalo, New York at Flickr Gifts and Inspirations. It is on Buffalo Street in Hamburg, New York, in the Vill Hamburg Village Plaza. Um, if you're in the area or you're looking for something to do on a vacation in the great month of April, come see us in the wonderful city of Buffalo, New York. Um, we're more than snow, believe me. We have the best chicken wings also. I'd be fun whack. So um, come see us. He'll be doing live readings and private readings. He'll be doing several live broadcasts from the store. He'll also be doing a live All Signs reading from the store. He wants to do it as the Tonight Show, like in the Tonight Show with a live studio audience. So come on over and see us. Um, there's going to be a ton of gifts or giveaways um, and things like that. We're still in the planning stages of it. Um, myself, um, and our main mod, j -Dub, will be there. Um, and so come on over and see us. Um, I think I've rambled on enough today. So again, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell for all notifications. And I will see you all tomorrow.